Give me a P H O. Give me an E Y U. For you. For you. For you. Ever since I started KK farming, I've gotten so many fruits. For example, I've gotten a Pika, a Magu, a Venom, an Ope, a Venom. Yeah, that's pretty much it. A venom and Ope. Those are my best fruits, bro. I've been so hyped ever since I got it. I still am. But this method, it's pretty easy to do. It's not, it doesn't require that much. I could show you how to do it without and with hoverboard. Because right now, right now, I'm currently lacking on hoverboards. Like, I don't got a single hoverboard. Like, not a single one. As I said, not a single one. But... Hey, hey, if y'all want more videos like this, let me do, do me a favor. Come, come in close. Come in close. Leave a like, subscribe, and show support to me. And yeah, I'll bring y'all more videos like this. Hey, also, combat videos eventually gonna come. We're gonna be playing underrated games and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get into this video. <music> Yes, Prell. We've de time. Join one of today's hottest groups in an electrifying concert. New kids on the block. Hanging tough live. All right. So there are two ways of cracking farm. There's either the hoverboard method or cliffside. To start off the cliffside, you're going to head all the way east. And once you get there, you should see a cliff. And you're going to put your second account as an anchor. You're going to stand by the cliff, adjust yourself get a little bit closer to the edge and then switch back to your main account now once you switch what you're going to do next is you're going to make sure to send your account a party invite so that you know where you is and for this do not get I, re I really recommend pika for this because get point it's so long and it drains too much stamina to the point i don't know if you can really get to your account and back it's it's, it's really hard so i really make, recommend like travel fruits so pretty much pika only it's a pika only method you want to summon your boat you get an instant kraken if you got 60k bounty and then you head back to your main account and then after that it's just it's just regular kraken farming you're just going to leave the game join back and just rotate till you get to three and then you just kill them all. And it's just simple as that. Okay, so to begin the second method, what you're first gonna do, make sure you turn off PVP pads. This makes your life so much easier. This makes it where Kraken, Sea Beast, and ships do not spawn and attack you while you're driving all the way out to rough waters. And once you do that, invite your first account so that you know where you are. And then you're going to go to your second account and run all the way to this cliff, summon your hoverboard, and then jump on it. Once you get to the hoverboard, you're going to drive all the way out until you find rough waters. And once you get there, you're going to move back a little bit, back enough where lightning doesn't hit you because lightning is a big problem, big problem in this method. It will knock you off. You die to the sea beast. Now you got to restart and set up. So I recommend you back up a solid 10, no, nah, not 10 seconds, probably four, three, somewhere in between that. And you're just going to sit here. At least you just, you just got to be far enough where lightning doesn't strike. Next. Once you set up, what your goal is, is you're trying to glitch yourself onto the hoverboard so that the rock atta attaches that hoverboard and pulls it to the sky. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand at the edge, click T, and then move forward. And like this, like this. And you're going to wait between 300 and 400 speed, you're going to stop. I usually sometimes go a little bit higher just so lightning wouldn't hit me. But that's just me. I don't really recommend doing it too much. But if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. 
then go go to your second account second your first account and you're going to pika fly well mine you don't really need pika it's just that i have it because it's a fast fruit this one you really you don't need pika i i did it with magu before i did it with magu i did it with mera i've done it with suna well my friend has suna and then you're going to get over here and turn off pvp pads this is so cracking this stuff will spawn i forgot to mention that earlier but turn off pvp pads and because if you get over here and you're wondering why Krakens aren't spawning. That's that's right. That's why. That's exactly why. My brain had turned off a little bit, but once you get your Kraken spawn, you're going to Pico fly all the way near, not exactly on your second account. And the reason why you don't want to do that is just to make life easier. Once you reset or leave the game near your character, the Kraken will TP to your character instead of sitting there just waiting. And this will make it where a lot easier to kill the Krakens because they would just like separate themselves and now you gotta kill the Krakens individually and this just burns through time. And as you can see, the Kraken TP to it but this saves so much time when it comes to killing Krakens and I don't don't just fly to the hoverboard just just leave once you're near it just like a couple a couple meters away but yeah that's just how you do it it's simple and easy not much goes into it and thank y'all for watching and yeah i'm in the video here